Kidson was my tutor at school and was to me, as he was to a lot of other people, like a sort of favorite uncle, I suppose. You know, he was an amazing character. You don't come across many people like that in your life. He had the most extraordinary walk. It's sort of lopsided, one shoulder much lower than the other, but his head sort of thrown back, very sort of haughty. Uh, and he used to sort of stride along the pavement. His um, legs were, were too long for his body. And his dog, terriers to start with, but then for most of his career, spaniels. And the, the most famous one was uh, Dougal, who was a, a real character, very smelly spaniel who used to lie in the corner of his classroom. He used to bring Dougal into the, in, into the conversation quite a lot. He used to say, you know, Dougal could have written a better essay than this. And I mean, he mastered the, the art form of the, of, the, of the fantastically rude letter that he'd sent to people and reports he wrote about boys. And, and those reports are now sort of <laughs> almost collector's items, really, because the, the humour and the, the rudeness. And, it, it, and it, yeah, it's a sort of blackadder humour, isn't it, really? I'm not sure he would be tolerated at even today teaching at all because he was so politically incorrect and is the sort of delicious irony at the core of the book, really, that there is this man that is fated by people like David Cameron um, as being an outstanding mentor. And the irony, of, of course, is that these days, I mean, he, he just wouldn't, he simply wouldn't last five minutes. He was the kindest man that any of us have ever met, probably, a mentor to all these boys who then became men. And he then became an old man with Alzheimer's and terrible problems of old age. And, and his pupils then ended up looking after him in old age. I suppose if you were to distill the whole book down to one sentence, it's, it's this quotation I put at the be beginning of the book, which is, um, education is what remains when you have forgotten everything you were taught. When I saw that, it was in Kidson's notebook. He'd written it down. He had had these commonplace books where he'd wrote down quotes that interested him. I mean, that really struck me, and I, I think st strikes a lot of his pupils, that education for him was something really much, much bigger than the, the syllabus.